Okay, assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. Okay, uh, this is one of the example uh, using PSIM um, in order to construct a DC to DC converter. So in this example, I'll give you a buck converter. Um, right. So the construction for the circuit, we we have this um, input voltage Vs over here. So in this example, I put it the amplitude or the input voltage will be equals to 200 volt right and then uh, for this switch over here i'm using the mosfet so you can as uh, uh, what we call pick um or, or select all this component from this down here i think all of you already known how to use the pcm all right and then we have the diode over here okay so we double click the diode so no need to change anything in the setting just maintain as what it's supposed to be a default setting right and then for the inductor over here in this example i uh, put it as 24 milli henry um the value for the capacitor is 0 0.25 milli farad right and then the value for the induct uh, resistor which is your load here will be 120 ohm okay so you need to put the uh, current probe and also voltage probe okay um it, it depends on what kind of signal that you want to measure so if let's say that uh, most of the waveform that you need to um, display in the simulation or in the OL report it will be your voltage across inductor VL and then your IL um, inductor current yeah, output vo uh, output current and also output voltage V0 I0 and this is the diode current and this is the switch current so you need to display um, at least this minimal requirement for the waveform so you can also display the rest of the waveform uh, it depends okay no problem with that okay and then in order to um, what we call produce the pulses um, for the switch over here this MOSFET over here in this example I will use the PWM okay so PWM consists of the reference signal this is the reference signal uh, which is a DC source, uh, the carrier signal, which is uh, you can use either triangular or so to signal, and then these two signals will be fit into what we call as a comparator. Okay, so the output of this comparator will be a pulses of 0 and 1. So these pulses will be fit in into the gate of the MOSFET. So in PCM, you need to include this what we call as on off controller okay so if you are using pwm as your control method you need to put this on off controller or else you might not be able to produce um, um, to view the pulses for the uh, your switch over here okay now we go for the this control uh, circuit over here right for this control circuit over here the, the reference signal okay all this pwm signal you can refer in the lecture notes uh, in bulk converter i think is in part one so do refer um, on the lecture notes for more information right so then uh, the name um, i just i didn't put anything it just this is the default um, name okay this amplitude over here will depends on your duty cycle so in this case it's 0 0.7 so you need to calculate your duty cycle first okay once you know the duty cycle you can put in uh, in this amplitude column over here all right okay and then for the carrier signal okay in this um carrier signal i'm using the triangular waveform okay um okay the things that you need to um set is this uh, V peak to peak frequency duty cycle and also DC offset okay uh, DC offset you will set into zero okay duty cycle set into one right and then your uh, V peak to peak uh, which is one okay this du du uh, DC offset uh, uh, but once we set into uh, at zero which means that your um, signal will be varied from 0 to 1 okay the frequency over here i put it as 800 it's just that um i just want to um what we call um 
to make the view of the waveform clearer, uh, clearer. Okay, um, this frequency will depend on your switching frequency. So if I say that you are using 20 uh, kilohertz, 40 kilohertz, 50 kilohertz, you can put it here. Okay, but um, in order for you to uh, view the waveform, you need to uh, do some setting in terms of uh, so that you'll be able to see the shape of the waveform clearly. All right. Okay, what else? Um, okay. Uh, you can put this, okay, this is voltage probe to see the uh, measurement of the cut, the voltage measurement. Right, and then we have this here, what we call as simulation control, okay, which is how long your simulation uh, circuit will be run. Okay, in this example over here, um, what we call, okay, um, uh, I make it the uh, print time is the start, uh, the start time, eh, where it begin, okay, which is in this example is at 0 0.4, and the total time where does the simulation will be ended, okay, which is at 0 0.405, so it's basically around two cycle and half, so one cycle is one over fifty hertz, which is 0 0.02, so, so two cycle and half more or less, okay, right. So once we construct everything, we put the um, current waveform, a uh, current measurement, the voltage measurement, so we can simulate or run the circuit. Okay, so we run the circuit over here. Alright, so it's already okay. It will pop up this kind of sim view platform here. Okay, let's say I want to see, um, okay the cross-section between the carrier signal and the reference signal so I put it in here so it has this view over here you can see this all right so which is uh, our reference signal is at 0 0.7 so this is actually the DC source and this is the triangular waveform which is it start at 0 and uh, it finish at 1 so it will vary from 0 to 1 all right, and then when we, uh, if let's say that we want to add more waveform, so you can do that by clicking this um, screen. So we'll add the screen. So you have this shape of the voltage across inductor over here. Um, add more screen. Um, um, IL your inductor current. Okay, inductor current. Okay, and then we add, um, let's say your uh, voltage, output voltage. And then, what else? Um, okay, your input voltage. Okay, uh, maybe uh, diode current. We add diode current as well. Um, Okay, which is ID over here. Okay. Right. Okay, so this is the full screen of the waveform here. So the first one here, like I mentioned previously, it was the intersection between the carrier and reference signal. The second waveform is your voltage across inductor. So it will you will have a square shape. Okay. And the third one is your inductor current is a triangular waveform. So this um, IL waveform will be determined by the value of your inductor. So if let's say that you set your value of inductor um, to be operated in DCM, so you, you need to adjust the value for the inductor. This is in CCM. Okay, this, the fourth waveform is your output voltage. Okay, you can see here. And output current is the free fine and finally your diode current. Okay, there will be a waveform or an output whenever your switch here, which is this part over here, will be turned off and your diode will become forward bias. So if let's say that you want to see the average uh, value of the uh, all this waveform over here, you can press the absolute uh, average of this absolute. Okay, it will pop up this kind of measurement over here. So you can compare this measurement from your calculated value. Alright, so uh, from this example, um, okay, uh, this, okay, E exponent plus 1, which is uh, it, your voltage across inductor, the average will be for 
84.38 ya. Okey, exponent plus 2 which is you need to move to 2 decimal point is 140 um, volt. Alright. Okey, and then uh, whenever you want to export this waveform into your uh, report in words, okay, um, okay, click on edit and then copy to clipboard. Okay, type, uh, choose the meta file format, not bitmap, yeah. Choose the meta file format, okay, and then you can paste into your um, words so you will get a better view of your waveform. Alright. Uh, what else? Okay. So we go back to the circuit. Okay, so if let's say that uh, in the OEL, you need to have, uh, there are two requirements uh, if you refer to the question. One is that uh, the input voltage must be varied from maximum to minimum. So you need to refer to the, um, what I call the selection of value for the input voltage from the data sheet or any, um, uh, what we call any uh, this uh, any loads that uh, have DC to DC converted in the that component or that uh, load. Alright, so the input voltage here, let's say, um, okay, this one is at two hundred. Maybe I vary it from two hundred to three hundred. So once um, so you need to run the circuit again for when your input voltage equals to three hundred. Okay, and then, um what we call and then uh, the second requirement or the second condition is that the load need to be uh, varied from maximum to minimum okay there are two possibility once you do this variation of load one is that uh, you vary the output voltage okay which is your v naught will be varied or your v naught your output voltage will remain constant but your r will be varied which is it will relate to your output power which is your output power will be varied so it will affect the value of your r yet the output voltage v not is still the same all right okay um so you need to perform all the calculation and then you need to verify from uh with, with the circuit over here all right so i think that's it with regards to um, uh, circuit construction using PCM software, uh, later I will show on the circuit construction using MATLAB software. Okay.